Dear children, welcome back to Economic Mall. Now we'll study the GDP deflator. What is GDP deflator? It measures the average level of the prices of goods and services that makes up GDP. So the equation to find out the GDP deflator is nominal GDP by real GDP into 100. Okay. So here the question is nominal GDP is 15,000 crore. Real GDP is 12,000 crore. Find GDP deflator. So you have to write the formula first. What is the formula to find out GDP deflator? GDP deflator is equal to nominal GDP by real GDP into 100. Okay. Nominal GDP how much? 15,000 crore. So 15,000 by real GDP how much? Here real GDP is 12,000. So 15,000 by 12,000 into 100. What is the answer? 125 crore. That is the GDP deflator. So the, so the formula to find out the GDP deflator is nominal GDP by real GDP into 100. Okay. This is also sure question. Three mark questions of 12th macroeconomics compulsory. This is a sure question. Okay. So you can write down this formula and you can practice many questions related to that. Next one is real GDP. Suppose they are given uh, nominal GDP and GDP deflator. They will ask find out the real GDP. So, the real GDP also, nominal GDP by GDP deflator into 100. Here, one thing you have to remember, always the first one is nominal GDP. So, the real GDP is equal to nominal GDP by GDP deflator into 100. Okay. Here, nominal GDP is 15,000. Okay. By and GDP deflator, they will give 125. So, 15,000 by 125 into 100. The answer is 12,000 crore. So, the real GDP is equal to 12,000 crore. Okay, clear? You can write down this formula and question and answer. So, this is a sure question. Now, we'll study the reconciliation of the three methods on national income. Which are three methods on national income? Income method, expenditure method and value order method. This is a sure question of 12th macroeconomics. Six mark questions. Either they ask the formula to write down the income method, expenditure method and value order method. And sometimes they will ask the problems related to income method, expenditure method and value method. Okay. Anyway, you have to study the formula. That is very important. Okay. Here, value order method formula is GVA. That is gross value order at market price of primary sector plus gross value order at market price of secondary sector plus gross value at market price of service sector. That is tertiary sector. Means three sectors of the economy. Which are three sectors of the economy? Primary sector. Secondary sector and service sector. So, by adding the gross value added market price of these three sectors of the economy, we will get GDP at MP. So, GDP at MP, how to convert NNP at FC that we already studied as now. NNP at FC is the national income. So, GDP at MP, gross net minus depreciation, like as MP to FC minus NIT, then you will get NDP at FC. NDP at FC plus NFIA, NNP at FC. So, this is the formula to find out the national income through value added method. It is also known as output method. Okay. What is the formula? Gross value added market price of primary sector plus secondary sector plus service sector. By adding you will get GDP at MP minus depreciation minus NIT. You will get NDP at FC plus NFIA. You will get NNP at FC. NNP at FC is the national income. Next one is income method. Means to calculate the national income through income method, this formula you have to write first. That is a compensation of employees. Compensation of employees means wages and likewise both in cash and kind. Okay. Next one is rent, royalty, interest, profit. By adding the rent, interest, profit, you will get an operating surplus. So sometimes instead of the rent, interest, profit, they will give operating surplus. So you can write operating surplus plus Mixed income. Okay. Mixed income means the income available to the producer through different ways. So, by adding this 3, you will get operating surplus plus mixed income. You will get what? NDP at FC. NDP at FC plus NFIA, you will get a NNP at FC. NNP at FC is the national income. Okay. So, what is the formula to find out the national income through income method? Compensation of employees plus operating surplus plus Mixed income plus that you are adding all this, you will get NDP at FC 
plus n of i a that is the answer n in pet f c. Sometimes they will ask for operating surplus. Remaining all they will give. N in pet f c also give. So from, uh, from the n in pet f c, you did it, then you will get an operating surplus. Okay. Next method is expenditure method. Expenditure method to find out the national income. The formula is private final consumption expenditure plus government final consumption expenditure plus gross domestic capital formation. How to find out the gross domestic capital formation? That is a net domestic capital formation if it is available means a plus depreciation. Otherwise they will give directly the gross domestic capital formation. Okay. Otherwise they will give a gross fixed capital formation. If fixed is there means you have to add a capital stock. Okay. Change in stock. Change in stock you have to add. Okay. So gross domestic capital formation by adding all this that is private final consumption expenditure plus government final consumption expenditure plus gross domestic capital formation you will get a GDP at MP that is gross domestic product at market price. This GDP at MP you have to convert into NNP at FC. So gross domestic product at market price in order to make a net that is minus depreciation in order to make FC that is MP to FC minus NIT and domestic you have to make a national so plus NFIA you will get an NNP at FC. So the formula to find out the national income through expenditure method is private final consumption expenditure plus government final consumption expenditure plus gross domestic capital formation you will get GDP at MP minus depreciation minus NIT you will get NDP at FC plus NFIA you will get an NNP at FC. Okay. So these are the three methods of calculating national income. This is sure question of 12th macroeconomics, 6 mark question. Thank you.